My name is uh, Dr. Wolfram Schmidt. I'm working at the German Federal Institute for Materials Research and Testing, BAM. And there I'm working in the area of high performance concrete and workability of concrete rheology. And in this context, I've been working quite much with uh, partners from all over the African continent. Um, I think we established quite many good links to African research institutions and universities. And uh, one permanent link has always been with the University of Lagos, and at the same time with Dr. Olunade, who's been working together for quite a long time. Yes, sir. My name is uh, Dr. Palaoli Olunade. I am with the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, University of Lagos here. Yeah. I've been working on the use of uh, industrial waste, agricultural waste, as a replacement for cement with a purpose, with a view to reducing the cost of construction and also improving the local content in construction industries. Uh, for some years back, I've been working with a German Institute, that is BAM, with my friend, with my partner, Wolfram. I was with BAM working together when there was a call for an, uh, for, a, a, for an award. We applied for it. Unfortunately, the award was uh, selected among many uh, applicants, and that is uh, the use of uh, uh, using cassava residues for use in construction industry. The was um, um, given for the very first time in uh, 2017 by the German Ministry for Science and Education and um, it was a signal because um, for the German economies, for the German um, country it is getting more and more important to get closer links to the African um, countries. And this award was um, had a number of preconditions. Um, the idea was to develop research, which is to the benefit of the population, but uh, with an outreach which is global. And in this context, we created this idea. We had been doing research together already on cassava before, but this for this award we created the idea to to use the wastes of cassava entirely, not only the mineral component which can be used for cementitious materials but also the organic components all together to enhance the concrete technology and um, there was a high competition in this award and only four awards were given to partners uh, to corporations between Germany and African partners uh, one award was given to a German Egyptian partnership one to a German Ugandan one to a German Kenyan partnership and then there was our partnership and uh, I think this is a very highly rated award. Yes, uh, the research is all about how to put more value into what assumed to be a waste and that is the cassava fields and as we all know that Nigeria is the highest producer of cassava in the world contributing more than 20 percent in the global production of cassava. And for this reason, a lot of uh, when cassava is processed, a lot of waste are generated, and these are constituting environmental nuisance. And in fact, there are a lot of uh, pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, and even environmental pollution from this waste. So it is this waste that we are looking at the possibility of adding value to, so that it can be another uh, local uh, local improvement for these uh, materials. And then the project is all about using the material, the, the waste entirely, both the starch that is attached to the peels and the peel itself, which could be used as a such a cementitious, cement, uh, supplementary cementitious materials, 
and then the starch could be also used as a admixtures in concrete. Yes, because we know that one of the major challenges facing the, the, in the 21st century is good, good in, uh, agitation, urbanization. There is need for more, uh, for more building, there is need for more infrastructures and materials are very key to all this. And mat materials are very key to all this and that is why we realize that if materials are provided in affordable uh, quantity, then definitely it will reduce the amount of it. In apart, apart from that, the conventional the conventional materials for any infrastructure, for especially like we talk of concrete when you have cement, we find out that they are never they are not sustainable because of the contribution of cement into uh, global warming in terms of uh, greenhouse gas emission that is uh, uh, emitted into the atmosphere. And cement is one of the highest contributor to uh, carbon emission. So by with our project, we intend to reduce this amount of carbon emission that is uh, exposed into the atmosphere, which it will be a global solution, a part of the global solution to reducing the uh, amount of uh, carbon dioxide emitted into the atmosphere. For in Nigeria, definitely it is very obvious that the, the material, everybody will benefit from it. And in fact, the farmers, all the people that are involved in, in, in cassava production, they will also benefit from it because it will going to add more value. It will also increase the revenue for them. What they consider as waste that is not really taking anything from. Once the values are attached to it, then it will also be a benefit for them, which will also increase their livelihood in their rural areas. So the rheology is the, is the workability or the handling of a material, so how it flows, how it can be cast into shape. And typically in concrete technology we need water to produce a good rheology, to make it workable for the construction workers on site. Uh, but the problem is that the more water we add into concrete, the lower will be the strength and uh, the lower will be the durability at the end of the day. So with rheology modifying admixtures, these are polymers, which can be obtained from, for example, cassava starch, or also from petrol-based chemicals. We can reduce the water demand of concrete. So we have to use, or well, we can use much less water, but at the same time, we have a much better flowability. So the concrete can easily be cast without any vibration for compaction and so on. And that is what, uh, um, is the new aspect of this research in particular that we can also that we also try to use this waste starch to mix it with concrete uh, to make it possible to reduce the water content to create a higher strength in concrete a better durability at lower water demand and uh, in total we can save costs and a lot of carbon emissions Ja, ich bin eine Bergnatur und lieb die Blärmel heiß, den Eumer auf und den Zian und auf das Ehe. Ja, yes, uh, I think the idea started uh, maybe some years back, around the 2005, when I was in Federal Polytechnic Ilaro. As a lecturer, Ilaro is, is known to have a lot of uh, fufu processing centers where they peel these cassavas to produce fufu, uh, one of the major products that they uh, that they get from cassava. And we know that Ilaro is always is a, is a, is a center where they produce fufu that nearly about 90 percent of the population in Lagos take the fufu. Because I could remember then when you want to buy fufu, they say no, we are not taking it, we are not selling this fufu for you to you in Ilaro, you are taking it to Lagos. This is the way they used to say. So they produce a lot of fufu, they process cassava a lot. So you see a lot of heaps of this cassava peels that they put there. And we see this is a problem. You see a lot of germs, a lot of uh, insects that are, are really feeding on these peels. So then that was this idea. Then when I wanted to come to the University of Lagos to do my PhD, and we know that there are people who have been using rice or cash. People have been using different ways that are industrial, in, that can be found in industrialized nation. But we know in Nigeria we are agricultural, agrarian, and many other African countries. We know, so okay, will this also be used? This is how the story of using cassava peels started. 
So I worked on it with my PhD, and then with this particular uh, German uh, German African Innovation Incentive Award, we also have opportunity to improve on the work better, and then perhaps to have a pilot project because the idea is that okay, where is that lake and we see cassava concrete? Where is that lake and we see cassava concrete? And we hope that at the end of this project, we'll be able to show that there is a cassava concrete on the land of University of Lagos. In Berlin, we are mm -hmm. carried out some tests too in conjunction with my friend, Bob Fram, to do some uh, project, some works on cassava, which also uh, improved, give, give us more understanding of the, of the material. Because there are some equipment, there are some uh, analytical equipment that I could not use here in Nigeria, which uh, my visit in Berlin gave me the opportunity to have more information about the use of cassava. In fact, we met in 2013, I think, for the first time. Yes, yes, yes. And since then, we had always been in contact. I was always fascinated by this idea to use this agricultural waste material, which appears in overabundance and to make a higher virtue out of it. And since then we had a lot of exchange mm -hmm. and created more and more ideas together. And I think when you, when Dr. Olonade came to Berlin, mm -hmm. um, we had some time to really yes. spend some thoughts on this. Yeah. And I think after this longer history, eventually this uh, German African Innovation mm -hmm. Center for what was just the logical consequence <laughs> for a brilliant idea and cooperation. Yes, yes, because even it was when I was in Berlin where we had some discussion that where this idea of this particular project really came up. It was a well a, a, a symbiotic, uh, a synergy between the two of us where this, uh, the, the, the proposal was, uh, uh, that was developed. Den Jodler und den Zittag lang hör ich fürs Leben gern. Jetzt hört's mir zu dir leben, leid jetzt hört's mir there is going to be uh, uh, what we we'll call inter, uh, inter interchanging of idea and interchanging of movement. Like I will be going, I will be in Berlin, I will be in in the in Bam, and then also my partner will also come to Nigeria. Where most of the materials are found there, the raw material is here. Those are areas that require. So analytical and chemistry with instrument, this can be done also in Berlin. And why we also have an idea, because part of the project is that there will be some consumables, there will be some uh, uh, equipment that can be seeded also to University of Lagos, which we have some work of this work can also be done here. So and then also the pilot project will also be cited in the University of Lincoln, which is the most important thing and like the experience that we have been having that everybody is anxious to see the cassava concrete project and once this is done and anywhere in the world people will be saying that we are it we are we can we see and then definitely they will always be mentioned University of Lagos and this is another uh, another glory for the university uh, University of Lagos so it is based on what we have in the project it is going to be between the between Nigeria, between University of Lagos and Bab. Yes, yeah, so it's more or less like a like a fifty fifty percent distribution, absolutely. But it's a synergistic, very synergistic um, mm -hmm. cooperation in a way that we are excellently equipped with, with um, analytical tools for nanoscale observations, all kind of things. Um, and here, uh, University of Lagos is the perfect ground to develop the concrete out of um, and, and link this with the with the uh, analytical results that we uh, can obtain and at the same time um, uh, my uh, partner dr olonadi has been working for such a long time on cassava um, um, peel ashes in, as a cementitious replacement maybe you are spearheading this technology maybe uh, worldwide uh, while i have been working all of my time on rheology modifying admixtures these polymers that, that change the consistency of, of concrete and uh, this is a perfect synergy so we can learn from each other and enhance and, and, and lift the research on a higher level um, that's the idea behind and I'm quite confident that we will really create this effect <laughs> Um, I'm coming from, from a country where the government spends a lot of money into research. We have a high number of universities and our institute does not belong to uh, the Ministry 
of science and education, but our institute belongs to the German Ministry for Economic Affairs. Um, so there is a strong focus of the German government to invest into research activities, which are pretty fundamental and convert this into applied research um, with the idea to cooperate with industry to develop innovations from research to um, create a German market which can be exported to the entire world. So I see that there is a very strong focus of, of our government on, uh, on the idea of uh, developing um, products out of research output. Uh, when I, uh, for me it's the first time to be in, in Lagos, it's the first time to be in Nigeria, unfortunately. I've been traveling around Africa a lot, but I haven't been to Nigeria and I regret it because I really love this country. And I also love the university campus and also the entire stuff that I met. Um, but I see that there's a lack of equipment, of analytical equipment, and I think in the future um, there's an increasing demand of um, analyti uh, analytical equipment to get deeper into the fundamental matters, nanotechnology, surface properties of, of materials, particles, and so on. And this requires um, more and more international cooperation. I know that the money is not falling from the sky, so I think therefore it is necessary to get closer and closer links between the different countries, between Nigeria, between Germany, because uh, as in this project where the fundamental idea of using cassava is coming from Nigeria, I learned so much from that, so at the same time we can properly give our analytical equipment so that we can share knowledge and we can also share the technology between each other. I see that there is a, um, there's a uh, not only in Nigeria, all over the African continent, if I look at the next generations of engineers, of scientists, there is such a high motivation, which I often sometimes miss in Germany and in European countries. So um, wasting this tremendous potential would be a big, big pity. Uh, because I think those people who can really change the world at the end of the day are not ourselves, but the next generation of engineers and scientists. So there I see that um, probably the governments should put more emphasis on, on, on equipping the um, educational institutions, the universities um, with the required materials to really bring this creative next generation into a situation that they can be top-notch researchers all over the world. That, that was my point of view. <laughs> I will want to do the same part uh, that is uh, followed by Wolfram on this. Yeah, there are a lot of potentials in Africa, no doubt about that. The idea is there, the brain is there, uh, the concept and everything is there. But what is required more is to have more conducive environment. There is need for more conducive environment. Yes, the government is really trying, the university administration, they are really trying to make sure that things are really available. But yet, we still believe that they can still do more. And it is by doing this that we can also have the opportunity. Anyway, we are also researchers. We are researchers. There is also need for entrepreneurs to come in to see how this particular research can be found on the market. And this is the only way by which university can also contribute to the development to the economic uh, development of the nation. But when there is a barrier, when there is a wall between the academy, academia and the people and the industry, then definitely there is no way by which the research in the industry could be benefit a, a, a beneficial things for the people in the industry. So we believe that uh, what is happening in most industrial industrialization, industrialized world. And definitely this is the way where there is a, a collaboration, there is a synergy between the industry and the academia. And this is exactly what is also required here too, to really see, to really take our research into an innovative idea which will also be developed for benefit of mankind. <laughs>
and then to establish a synergy between the we have a, what you call an interdisciplinary research uh, opportunity. Then there are another I don't see most or I don't foresee any serious challenge that can hinder us in the achieving the goal of this particular project. I think in this project we are skilled enough to bring this to a very positive and exciting end but in general I think one challenge that we see in our research is uh, the fact that um, if we think about something simple like concrete the root cause for all failures, the root cause for all performance properties lies on the nanoscale, on a very very tiny scale so in the future we have to get the understanding of so many different disciplines from physics to chemistry to material sciences and so on. Um, this is currently in civil engineering curricula not entirely covered and we have to somehow find a common language between the different disciplines and I think this is where the challenge of the future lies to bring this all together. We need more and more specialist knowledge but at the same time we need more and more people who can translate the specialist knowledge and bring it into a broader scale and uh, this is where we have to train the students for the future and where also we as researchers have to work on at the same time as we as researchers also have to look more and more into communicating our research if we just publish in uh, among ourselves in our own community this is one thing which is often highly rated but at the end of the day if the science we do doesn't bring any benefit to the societies we don't do anything good so therefore i think we have to look more into interdisciplinarity and we have to look much more into science communication to the broad public because the material is already with the people and they generate it with the people they are there already so what they just need is it even possible for them to even do the processing themselves okay. and just like they are taking sand within they are taking water and they can also take the cassava peel uh, once they uh, once they have the, uh, the, the, they are well trained and this is part of the project it is not only limited to nigeria nigeria is only being informed front so we are, we are going to take lectures we are going to take this idea into all the neighboring african countries we will be in nigeria we will go to tanzania we will go to cameroon to spread this idea especially those countries that are also producing cassava like ghana Ghana and Syria alone. So definitely it is the, uh, the idea is only coming from Nigeria, it is going to be the entire Africa. The <music> of Lagos, as we all know, is the nation's pride and the universe of the first, uh, uh, first choice because it is the, it's, uh, it's having its privilege to be in Lagos. Since the university is in Lagos and Lagos is known everywhere, in fact, some people believe that when you come to Nigeria, if you have not been to Lagos, you are not in Nigeria. So it means if anybody wants to collaborate with anybody in Nigeria, the, the first place to come into is Lagos, University of Lagos. And more importantly, this is also coming from University of Lagos. This is also telling us that this there is a much opportunity to. Uh, to get when you collaborate with people in the of Lagos. And we believe that uh, being in Lagos, everybody will be... Uh, there is nothing that you happens in the of Lagos that is not known anywhere in, the, in Nigeria. Because everybody focus on uh, the University of Lagos because of the position. And because of a lot of things that is also happening in the of Lagos. So this is a great opportunity and a, a great... Uh, chance that University of Lagos has. So therefore, I believe that there are, uh, uh, the University of Lagos stand a better chance of uh, getting more collaboration, research collaboration from anywhere in the world. As someone who has um, been collaborating with quite many institutions all over Africa, I was very excited to be here and I was very happy to be here. And I learned such a lot. What I, one, one thing I learned among others was that there is University of Lagos and the others. So therefore, um, and I can, I can, I think I can probably confirm this. Although maybe this is a bit over exaggerated, but um, knowing how research institutions and international cooperation works in other parts of this continent, I can definitely confirm that there's a very strong drive here 
to get international cooperation done. And there seems to be a very um, robust and sound administration that tries to get everything um, or always opened up for, for international cooperation. I think there's much more that can be done, um, um, let's say, to have more cooperation all over the world. We are trying our best to continue um, and extend our collaboration uh, as a very sustainable long-term collaboration. I think so far we managed that uh, very well and um, therefore I see a very, very great potential for the University of Lagos for um, increasing number of very, very good international co cooperation activities. Institute of Material Research and Testing, Germany. That is one. That is one that is uh, uh, with Doctor Olon on the on the use of uh, cassava ash as a fossilic material in uh, concrete. The aim of that project is to be able to replace some portion of cement that is used for concrete work with a cassava peel ash. Now, if this is, as we have far found out, that is a task positive uh, outcome, it, it means that uh, the cost of providing housing can be reduced. And it's, uh, this was what brought him in contact with the uh, uh, Dr. Wolfram of Bar and they wrote proposal to Jama Coleman and they, they receive uh, funding to advance us not only to just do research but again as part of that research we have uh, a prototype uh, building that has to be constructed in our faculty uh, experimental uh, building with which they can monitor the performance of the material which use so that we're focusing on the durability of the structure. So that is that. And then uh, we also in the Africa region have a relationship with Bank and uh, the German government has given us funding to organize a conference, TAG ISEE. That is innovation, science, engineering, and education. The first phase of this uh, conference will be held in Nairobi, Kenya, in January 2019. And with uh, more funding, we are going to organize the same work as conference in the University of Lagos, the SAG, and the University of Johannesburg. All this will be, will be focusing on those uh, four elements, that is innovation, science, engineering, and education. And then the whole idea is just to develop capacity in all of this. And engineering is very key in any nation. For any nation to move forward, research in engineering must be must be given a priority and so we are thanking uh, the German government for providing all these uh, facilities for us to carry out research and at the same time to disseminate the research to the possible users. After that um, research and innovation should be a key thing that every academic should look into. And um, this is a thing of joy to us here in the faculty that uh, Dr. Lonade was here for his PhD and he performed very well. I'm privileged to have been one of his supervisors with you know the late Professor Emi Salau. His work was supervised and I believe that um, Nigeria, in particular, being the largest uh, cassava producing nation, has a lot to gain from this work. 
and of course Africa in general and other developing countries. Because cassava has so many components, although this work focuses on the waste aspect of it, converting waste to wealth, mm -hmm. converting that waste from being, from constituting nuisance in the society. So it is very important that um, uh, the, the work by BAM with Olona Day and the University of Lagos is at this uh, level and we hope to take it to a higher level whereby even if possible University of Lagos Faculty of Engineering will become something like a research hub for BAM in Africa. We really want to work with BAM and uh, we're looking for that opportunity to move beyond the frontiers of this work into other areas. We have a lot to, to learn. We have, have experience and uh, for analytical issues which, which we cannot have, uh, we may say we have the wood base right now because of um, equipment that are very expensive. They come handy to help us in our research uh, uh, drive. The university will benefit a lot from this uh, relationship. Unfortunately, the dean is not here now we are with the uh, DVC ENR. He also expressed this on behalf of the university manager. And we pray that uh, this will record good success here. Gestorben bin, dann trag mich hoch hinaus, begrabt ihr mich im Tal herum, dann steig ich selber.